today we are looking at using labels with index cards in Scrivener 3 for Windows. Labels, as with status, are found at the bottom of the inspector, this time on the left. The standard items are simply a list of colours. They can be selected in the same way as status, by clicking onto a document or folder and choosing from the list. Again, these can be customised, but we're not covering that here. Labels, however, are displayed very differently. Labels have colours attached to them, so that colour will appear in some form on your index cards. I say some form, because there are options. You'll probably see a line down the side of the cards already. For those, of course, we need to go to... No, not file and options. At least, not yet. There are various options that can be a little confusing to start with, because it's not all in the same place. Very Scrivener. Under the View menu, Use Label Colour In, there are various options, two of which are relevant to the corkboard. Corkboard Options, Label Colours Along Edges. This will put a colour bar down the left-hand side of the card. Under File, Options, Appearance, Index Cards, Options, you'll see a Label Indicator option. Corner mark is the way the line down the side is referred to. But you can also just have a pin icon in the top centre of the card. So you need to decide if you want either of these before disabling under corkboard options in the view menu. Under corkboard options here, you can change the opacity. But this doesn't seem to make much difference again. Next time we'll be looking at some more of the basic formatting options for index cards, because there are more.